Hi, my welcome brothers and sisters. Uh, thank you for joining me again. Today I want to talk about a sensitive topic. It might not be one that everyone agrees with me on, but I think it's important that I address it because it is probably a little bit controversial and it's something that I think has become the norm. But just because something's the norm doesn't mean that there isn't, you know, that it's always right. I want to talk about these marriage sites. Okay, and I, I know that lots of young people and older people are using them, places like Mosmat, Single Muslim, um, Pure Matrimony. Um, these are sites that are common. Uh, Sunnah Match now, I think there's another one. There's a few, isn't there, out there. And my criticism isn't necessarily to, to the sites themselves, but more so around, you know, um, the way that we use those platforms. I find that, like, a lot of people are using those platforms to meet people and just to talk to them and those conversations can become very, very inappropriate. Um, and you know, what's sad for me is that those places are there for people to seek out marriage. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure that there's lots of people out there who are using those sites for good purposes. So they've got their parents involved and the brother, you know, is, or the sister knows clearly, like, this is what we're here for, this is what we're going to do. I also think there's a percentage of people on there who maybe are, um, haven't put those things in place and it's being used as almost like a halal dating platform. And I just want to give Masiha, that's all I'm here to do today. It's hard enough, you know, in this day and age, having, you know, marriages and, and working at them. But the last thing you want is to start off your marriage um, based on, on these roots. One of the other things I'm finding is that a lot of people are getting hurt because there are people on there who are not sure that they want to get married. So they're the ones that are kind of like, their parents want them to marry a particular person or they want them to go back to their home country, Nigeria, um, I've had Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, um, and, and, and they are wanting to go back to those countries and there's, that's on the back burner. So they've come to these sites thinking, to almost like to, to avoid that a little bit, to prolong that. Um, and then they start to talk to a sister, and then one thing leads to another, and then they're finding that the, the, the sisters are often heartbroken because the brother's not really fully invested, and the brother goes off and then goes and marries, you know, at the wishes of his parents. Or sometimes they get conversations going and then they realise, oh, well, I don't know if my mum will be happy with my choice. So here I am. That's kind of the backdrop of my advice for today is going to go. And I'm, I'm, I'm really passionate about this because I've seen the heartbreak that it causes. OK, and first of all, to brothers, and I'm going to talk to sisters as well, but to the, to the guys out there, the, the intention at the end of the day is a foundational element of our deen. And the intention should be that you want to get married. If with that you are in doubt, you think your parents are not going to accept it, um, there's some question of you going back to India or Pakistan or Bangladesh, then you shouldn't even be on there. And I'll tell you something, I've seen brothers who talk to sisters for six months, for eight months, you know, and they, the, the, the things that they declare, you know, we're in love, we'll meet up, you know, they put ideas into the girl's head of this life that they're going to have together. And at the end of it, there is no such thing as love. There is no such thing as a life at the end of it. It was all just this facade and almost like a time filler. And it makes me really, really upset when I talk about this subject because I see what it's doing to people. I see what it does to, to the girls and I see what it does to the guys, but more so the girls, to be honest, in this case. I see brothers who are still married, you know, on, on these sites who are telling girls, oh, well, I'm having problems with my wife and, and this, that, the other. Why are you there? Why don't you go home and sort the problems out with your wife? Like, deal with one thing first and then move on to something else. All you're going to be doing is using another girl for an emotional bluffer, you know, for a little while an emotional buffer, sorry, not even a bluffer. I'm saying a bluffer because people bluff here, like they're lying, you know, they're pretending. Just honestly, some of the the level of, of, of things that are going on, um, just really disappointing, honestly. Absolutely, if this is a means for you to find somebody, absolutely. Set yourself a limit on time. Make sure that your family are aware. 
if you are the sort of person that needs their approval or wants their approval and family is important to you, then absolutely make sure that they know that you are looking for someone. I'm just going to be really straight up. I don't care if people like me or they don't like me for, for this. But we all have daughters and we all have a sister and we all have brothers and sons. And it's our duty to, to ensure that, you know, we can do our best to, to make sure that, you know, they're not hurt and this process is done in the most diligent way possible. And so we want the blessings, we want the baraka. For the guys out there, there are three or four things that I, I, I fundamentally want to say. Um, number one is, if you are going to go on these sites, be sure that you're ready to get married. I see people like take two years, three years, I can't tell my parents yet, or oh, it's going to be another six months. I mean, what's that about? If you have work to do, where you need to like kind of get over insecurities, sometimes you have past relationships, sometimes things have happened where other, you know, marriages are broken off, things happen in your family. I get all of that, you know? But do the work before you get on these sites, before somebody else is involved and somebody else who you will have to answer to Allah for one day, to be honest, because they're a Muslim, okay? Do your work, be on there when you are ready. That's my first advice. Secondly, make sure that the people that are relevant and important are people that are on board. You know, why are we on the sites? Why are you on these sites if you know that your mum's not gonna improve and she wants to take you back to India? Or your dad's not gonna approve because he's gonna think that this method is the wrong way? Or your, you know, family's not gonna approve because of the type of girl that you're talking to? Whatever that case might be, you are responsible, you're the man. You don't put a girl in this situation when you're not sure yourself. Really, really important that you get your family on board and especially those that are important to you, that opinions are going to matter. If you are sincerely like, I'm an independent person and I, you know, I'm going to marry independently, fine. But if you're not, you don't want those things coming in later and then this girl's six months into t- conversations with you and then you don't commit. That's really hurtful. That's really heartbreaking. Number three, this is really important. Don't give a girl all of these false promises before marriage. No, you don't love her. <laughs> There's a conversation. This, this, it baffles me. Like you, 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 love is, is, is doing. Marry her, support her, be with her through all of those things. And then that's when you say, you know what, I have... I am doing, I am in love, I am doing these things. This declaration of love comes so quickly, you know, you're meeting up with with them, you know, you're giving them these promises, all these like beautiful words, and women love all of that, they want to hear all these nice things, you're so beautiful, and I'm in love, and then that comes to nothing because of those first two factors. Even if those two first two factors were not there, for example, say, you know, the family were going to be okay and you had done all your work i'd still recommend that this this conversations if they've got to that level um then there's something not right with that conversation we shouldn't be talking about love and all of this beforehand there should be the practical elements you know love is shown through those actions in the first place as you're preparing, as you're giving her the dignity and the respect and talking to her father or her brother or her mother, you know, about marrying her, putting in place, you know, any concerns that she has and addressing them, being apparent or transparent about anything that you've got going on, whether that's studies or something you can't commit to or job or your stress or your anger. Like, those are the things that declare love. It doesn't have to be this... I find that the people that say it more, oh, I'm in love, and it's kind of a mask to to really doing the stuff that is love. So that's my third thing. Please, please, please refrain from going into emotions and that covers up the real reason. And a girl should not be afraid to ask you about commitment. To the sisters, okay? I'm coming to the sisters now, to, to girls, 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 honestly. If you are going on these sites, you can be vulnerable, okay? Especially, like I said to the guys, if you haven't done your work, if you're feeling like, you know, a few rejections have happened, or you're getting a little bit older, whatever that means, you know, or 
you feel like your parents are going to choose someone that you don't want so you want somebody of your own choice or you're anxious because you your relationship with your father or your brother wasn't the best it could be anything the point being is that when you go on these sites you are vulnerable okay cup because there are so many guys out there and the main purpose of that site is for that matching so it's like a ripe for that does that make sense it's not like you can go to college or somewhere and they're not you know you can ignore them you're actually going on there saying i'm available right so what is that availability that's what i want to talk to you about today first of all go on there when you are certain that you are ready for marriage okay that's number one be certain and especially for girls that family is involved your mother your father your brother you know a cousin don't do it alone make sure there are people who you trust you know who are going to be with your side who the person you're mar- marrying knows that you, those people are there good people people that you're safe with they will never question you on that because they will understand that you are being taken care of and they understand that transfer of responsibility if you're meeting a guy who doesn't want to speak to your brother who says i'm not going to speak to my mom till later who says i'm not going to speak to your parents till i've got to know you 6 months those are red flags those are like why why do you need 6 months to to talk about what you know the foundational things uh, of of usually people who take longer are often more indecisive and they're more indecisive because they have self doubt yeah they they're not sure so they're thinking if i give it more time but all that does is it gives more time for those insecurities to come through and it tends to attract people who see those insecurities people who are secure people who know don't need that long okay because they trust allah they say look i'm going to do my due diligence i find them attractive the family values and things are aligned and i can i've done other videos talking about what to look for go to those videos watch them i don't have, want to cover that here but essentially what i'm saying is by the time you've come on this you should be ready make sure people you love who care about you who know you who you trust are on there and the guy from day 1 knows that those people are there with you okay that you will be talking to these people about these conversations make sure your boundaries are in be very clear about your timeline be very clear why you're there be very clear about what things you're looking for and once you find those things don't allow yourself to fall for sweet words because that's going to be really important guys you know guys can woo you they can say all the soft words and all the nice things that you want to hear but those things are not the things that sustain long term relationships actions do actions do if you find you know this person you can't ask direct questions to if you ask something they get angry or they get upset then you know that these are red flags you're like well you know we're here to have this conversation you don't have to be masculine about it you don't have to be you know horribly firm you can be gentle about it and still say look these are the things i'm looking for but please sisters protect yourselves um as i'm seeing it too often i'm seeing too many people get broken for both guys and girls look at the other videos that i've done around what to look for yeah because at the end of the day the only person you lie to is yourself and each time you have a negative experience the harder it is for you to then go on to the next like you don't trust as much which is natural but you're just not going to so you don't want to keep you know keep going keep going and keep making like or this person and this person and this person you want to be able to find someone and then work on that marriage yeah rather than it before and it really ruin your mind and ruin your heart um and i say this sincerely jazakallahu khairan for watching i um pray 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 that you stay safe on these sites um that you clear your intentions for both boys and girls um and that allah blesses you with righteous spouses and to be blessed with righteous spouses be righteous like just attempt to at least be good with allah for yourself okay that way allah's protection will be with you jazakallahu khairan for watching inshallah i will see you on the next video assalamu alaikum